Hey, vegan delicious family. I hope you're doing great today. Let's unpack my health food store haul. Okay, this first one is agar agar, but it's dried. So I'm gonna be using that to um, thicken things. This is popcorn, nice for a snack. These are some really cool um, cookies, gluten-free cookies. They're really yummy. There's not too many in a packet, but they're really good, I really like them. All right, so here's some seasonings. Uh, this one, I think is coriander powder, that's right. So um, I don't usually use it, but I'm going to try it out. That's some white pepper, and these are some yummy, juicy cranberries. Um, I've also got some more of that coriander powder because it was so cheap and I wanted to buy extra. All right, now let's have a look. I have um, prunes and also thyme or thyme. I was running out of that, so I wanted to make sure I had enough and the prunes are really good for just having a couple, occasionally, not every day. Um, this is some quinoa, white quinoa. I have tried the tree colored um, quinoa, but I prefer the white one. Um, here's some chia seeds. I love putting that in my um, juices and smoothies. Um, and also if I make something with honey uh, that would be like a pancake or something like that, I like to throw that in. All right, here's my golden flax seeds. I buy those natural and then grind them up myself. Here's some apricot. Now don't eat too many of those dried apricots at once. Here's some quick oats. Uh, my hubby lives on oats. He'll have it like at least twice a day. Um, and then I also put it in my smoothies as well. All right, here's some more popcorn. I bought more than I needed. I don't eat that much. And here are some golden, juicy raisins. Um, I actually ended up soaking these to put them into a cake. That one there was some vital wheat gluten. I usually buy that like two or three bags at a time because I never want the health food store to run out on me. It's happened a couple of times. And if I feel like cooking, I don't wanna to have to wait to get it in stock again. So it's always important to get it in stock. Here's some vanilla essence. I hadn't quite, vanilla, vanilla extract even. I hadn't run out yet, but I wanted to make sure I had enough. And then here's some pumpkin seeds because I'm trying to get myself into um, snacking on seeds a little bit more. Here's some white sesame seeds, which I usually use when I make something that's kind of Asian or Chinese style. Here is my nutritional yeast. I cannot live without it. I put it on everything as a cheese alternative. Here's some more of those oats. Don't worry, it's not gonna get through all of this in one go. Those oats are gonna last like at least a month and a half, two months maybe. But I just bought them in a big haul because they had ran out for like three weeks and we really like these oats. It's Australian oats and they just taste way better than what we would be used to even when we buy them in the States or in the UK. All right, here's some more of those golden raisins and I actually ended up um, eating some of the sultanas which I didn't get to show in the video. This cassava pasta is the best. It's so good. Um, it's in a macaroni style so I use it for my macaroni cheese and it is gluten free and it really agrees with my body. It's so yummy. Here's some coconut sugar. This is really delicious if you mix it with some barbecue sauce. It gives it a really nice sushi flavor. But I also use it for cooking. Hubby uses it to have on his cereal. Um, there's my receipt. Um, it really wasn't that much. I think it ended up like $70 or so. Um, I buy in the local currency where I am, but it was about $70 or $80 in total for everything. Um, and then now you can see my entire haul right here on the floor. It doesn't look like much, but this is a lot of the basics that I need to keep us running for another few weeks, at least, or sometimes a month or more with some other products. Anyway, have a great day.